What happens when you put hot sauce in a coffee maker? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It is back to mythicality week. And in honor of that, we want to bring back a recent fan favorite segment. A couple months ago, we decided to take an ordinary water filter and put things inside of it that were not water just to see what would happen. No, oh, there's no, there's no carbonation. I forgot what I was going to say, but I remember. There's very little and color. Give a count. That's the do. That's the do, bro. Bro, that's just the do. Yeah, we did the do mm -hmm. and discovered stuff. Yes, and you guys left so many comments recommending other liquids for us to try that we're going to do a part two to that episode soon, so keep those ideas coming. But before we do that, we realize that there is an entire world of appliances just waiting to be experimented mm -hmm. with. And so today, we're gonna use another appliance in a way it was never intended to be used, you know, for science. And that appliance is a coffee maker. It's time for putting things in things. Coffee maker edition. Now we're not officially recommending that you try any of this yourself because it can ruin a perfectly good coffee maker. Yeah. But as with many things on this show, we do it so you don't have to. Round one. I've always thought the one thing a coffee maker was missing was hot meat. That's why we're gonna replace the coffee grounds with raw beef. Look at that, Link. Okay, you so, wanna, so you we're wanna, talking hamburger meat. You wanna taste it to confirm that it's raw? Uh, no, I can, it. I can look at it and tell that it's okay. raw. So uh, break it up so we don't just put one big globule in there. You know, make so, it as coffee bean-like as possible. Oh, really small, you think? Well, I mean, you know, I'll help you out. That's a lot of beef going in there. It's four, four hands handling hot meat. Well, well raw beef. The beef in the rough. coffee maker is the best beef. Okay, and I also have some salt and pepper because, you know, why not? Oh, no, oh, that's a lot. No, 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 man, that's gonna, Okay. it's gonna all be filtered out. And then we're using the standard Agua H2O, filling that up there, and closing that, and yeah, activate. Okay, I think it is fully brewed. Okay, it's kind of foggy, so let's, Let's take it out and take a look at. Oh gosh, there's still a little drippage there. Is it pink? That is cloudy. Uh, it's it's light brown. I mean, is this just just raw meat juice? It's not raw. It's been cooked. I believe. Ha has it? You believe? Well, let's look well, at. Op open it up and look at the meat. Oh gosh, yes. Oh, there's still a lot of, all the meat cooked. You have a fork or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it made a freaking brain. It made a, it made a burger. How did it all come, it, it all congealed back yeah, to, oh, it's... but there's still rawness. Is this the where the raw meat was kept? You oh. just put it right back into the, where the raw meat was. That's why there's raw meat in there. You put it right back into the same place. Burger. Well, but this isn't the test. That's not surprising. This is, this is a byproduct. That's the product. Hot beef water. It's got a lot of floaties. I mean, I would think it's just like good broth, right? Well, let's let's find out. <laughs> it's good. It's good, man. I think I'm just a little worried. You I, think it's got a pinkish hue, which means we're we're just eating I just don't beef know. runoff? I just don't know if if it's safe. It's not the most appetizing thing to look at, but I think this is great if you're sick or want to get sick. <laughs> Round two. Here we have a crap load of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Their slogan, not a sponsor, is put that skirt on anything mm -hmm. or everything. It's something, something like, like that. that. They ain't paying us, so I ain't getting the slogan right. <laughs> but can you put it through anything, including a coffee maker. So let's throw the... Yeah, so we're using just regular old coffee grounds. We're basically making coffee with hot sauce. Basically. Which is smart, stupid, a little of both. Who knows, let's find out. Okay. I'm interested to see if the hot sauce will actually work its way through this, because it's a little thicker than water. Oh, you mean through the through the veins yeah. of the coffee maker? The veins, specifically. Well. Blood is thicker than water and so is hot sauce. We'll find out eventually. That's a lot of vapors. That's that's not, that's smoke, I can smell it. Is it's it smoke? It's burning. Something has become 
What is it burning though? I don't know. <coughs> I think we may have ruined this coffee maker. Okay. <laughs> it's <coughs> it's a freaking fire hazard, that, man. Okay, okay, I'm cutting that off. Now that is bright orange. Let's bring in the glasses. The question is, what's gonna be the flavor profile between coffee flavor and don't hurt, don't hurt yourself. Hot sauce, because it looks so orange, but. There's little grounds in there, you can see them. It yeah. kind of looks like V8. I can see a few coffee grounds floating in it, so that tells me there's probably gonna be. That's a good even pour, man. Thank you. Where'd you learn that? It's intuitive. Uh, but it didn't change the color of the hot sauce. It didn't make it brown. It's like hot coffee. This is officially oh. hot coffee. Mm in both senses of the word. Now again, you don't want to burn yourself, so go in gingerly. Oh. Um. Hey. <laughs> There's something pleasing about it. The hot sauce is dominating. You have to listen for it as you taste it. Just listen for the coffee. There's a coffee Aftertaste. Aftertaste, yeah, yeah. yes. It's like, I thought I was eating hot sauce. Must have been coffee. This may be a good idea to then put it on hot wings, but to drink it out of a coffee mug, there's not enough of a coffee component for this to be viable. It gives your hot sauce a hint of coffeeness. Right. Which if you're into that kind of thing, and you, you and you want to go through a coffee maker cause a you day. Can, you can rub a chicken with coffee, can't you? Because we definitely. Ooh. We. We broke this. Round three. Now pizza is good, hot or cold, and so is coffee, so in theory, replacing coffee grounds with pizza should work, in theory. Let's put it into practice. Just gonna do some rippity doo dah. Give me half of this, or some of this. See, the, more, the, the, the smaller pieces that you make, the more likely it is to infuse. I dropped a little of my sausage. I'm gonna put the sausages in there. Yeah. Okay. And we're just using regular water here. Whoop. This could this could transform your morning. It really could. I have high hopes for pizza water. Activate. Okay, hot pizza water coming right up. Line up, people. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have a lot of color. It's a bit beige-ish. See if I got even. Nope. Nope. There we go. I don't want to. I don't want to slight you, Rhett. Yeah, since a I'm gonna finish more. it, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's take a sniff. Oh. It smells like, like pizza, pizza flavor. You know, like pizza flavored things. Dink it. Let's sink it. It mm -hmm. the, the pizza smell is so strong that. You expect it to taste strong, but it's very weak. I, you know what? If you drank this whole thing, you could fool yourself into thinking you had eaten pizza like three hours ago. <laughs> that could be a diet. It could this be. Like, I know. I, do you, you want any, any more pizza? No, 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 no. I had it three hours ago. I think. I mean, this no, is, it was just hot pizza water. Let's take a look at this. Pe oh my goodness. Oh, look at it. There's it, not it, that it much bloated. water in here. Take that plate and let's dump it. Because. A lot of the water was soaked up by the, I don't wanna burn myself. There's too much water to dump. Really? What? Let yeah. me just, let me just. I'm gonna do that. Oh, look what? at that. It's pizza soup. Ooh, that's not gonna be bad. Right? Right? Pop, pop, pop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it is gonna be hot. <laughs> it tastes like somebody with a, Really bad fever digested the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and then they, they made it hot. <laughs> they, they what? They made it hot. They made it hot. <laughs> they made it hot because of their fever. Uh, this is much better than the than it's the beef bad. broth from earlier. So if you're choosing between the two to ruin your coffee maker, use the pizza. Round four. Cereal. It's the innards of every good bowl god. And I think we've got a good idea. Okay. We're gonna put Cinnamon Toast Crunch in a coffee filter. Mm, yes! And then, straight up milk. You know it! This has, has it's got to be good. To be a good idea. If this isn't good, I'm going to physically hurt this coffee maker. <laughs> Fire it up, man, I can barely wait. All right, let's taste it, man. 
You take it. All right, I'll pour it since it's on sideways here. Now, there's not a lot of brownness. No, there's not. If any at all, really. But I choose to believe it has the essence of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in it. Okay. There's more for later, look. All right. You made a little bit of a mess there. Dink it. Sink, sink it. Oh, the smell. Wow. Mm. It's milder than I thought it would be. It's I not feel like I'd want to run it through again with fresh cinnamon toast crunch because that would be worth my time. Oh, you want to double? You want to double run it? You know, like two or three times. I think well, you could just you could do it all day, and then at night you could have something real good. So when you finish a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch and you've, you're left with that milk, this is not what we're experiencing. We're experiencing something that you could you could down multiple glasses of this without compromising your integrity. Oh, but look at that! Look at that! Look at that soup! Get, uh, grab just, a spoon. Let's pull it. Let's just put it on the table here, so, so we can see. Put what it we in, into that bowl. Is that that bowl's clean, yeah, right? Put it right, right, right there. That's good. Yeah. This is where the this is where the party's at. Can I have a spoon? I'm getting this for you. Oh. There you go. Here's what I think we're on to. A lot of people don't like coffee, but they're missing out on the entire coffee shop experience. They get, or if they go, they order like hot chocolate. I think you dedicate a whole area, Starbuck, to this. Well, hold on, no, no, no. Running milk through coffee makers. You didn't taste with it. With cereals. Because what's the third word in Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Well, it's crunch. Don't make me look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was an easy one. And tell me why that doesn't have. Cinnamon Toast Limp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never thought the crunch was so important until I had that. That's the, this is not what it's about. This is offage, man. This. Is bringing everybody into the coffee shop. I do recommend this as like a holiday treat. Um, Gather your friends around the Yuletide yeah. cheer. Yeah, for people who aren't into eggnog and people who are scared of eggnog. Oh, but it ain't over. Round five. Under no circumstances should orange juice and toothpaste go together, which is why we're putting them together in a coffee maker. Because maybe that'll make all the world a difference. Take one of these and let's just uh, squeeze a fi. Get it all, man. You gonna do the roll? No, I'm just doing the, the squeeze and pinch. Now what I like to do is I like to save these tops, these special tops, and then I buy the cheaper toothpaste and I put this on it so it, it's got a quicker open and shut. Are you making that up? No, man. <laughs> and now, oh, man, I'm actually that crazy. <laughs> orange juice. Oh, this one's already on. Yeah, I thought I. Oh, you already I turned thought, it on. I thought I'd prime it for you. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm so anxious for this one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, we got a carafe full of what appears to be orange juice, hot orange juice, with a little sud in it. Little so, suds. That's from the toothpaste. Okay, man. And I think it may just make it taste uh, a little tangy. Yeah, it might just spritz it up a little bit, dink it. Sink it. Uh, watch yourself. <laughs> Nothing. Hold Except on. Except hot oh, orange juice. No. Oh. Let it take its course. Then you breathe in. Oh. A little, a little refreshment. Yeah. It's not bad. My first note. Hot orange juice. Is good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Second note. Why is that not a thing? If is you, hot orange juice not a thing? It's now a thing, man. Seriously, hot orange juice, just straight up, do that. Second, put toothpaste in it. <laughs> Look what we discovered. <laughs> Breaking grounds. All right, here's what you do now. Go into the comments and leave your idea for what you'd like to see us put through a coffee maker the next time we do that. We're gonna do that, we're gonna do water filter, we're gonna do some other stuff. All that stuff. In the meantime, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, Red and Link, I'm Nico. And I'm Jen. And we're from Sydney, Australia. And we're about to do our own coffee taste test right now. But for the meantime, it's time to spin. The Wheel of Mythicality. Good luck. That's the mythical spirit. Click the top link to watch us try the strongest coffee in the world and what? read mail with Jen. And a little more to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. It's a sketchbook. It's a notebook. It's a snotebook. Get yours now at mythical.store.